Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here, your source for gaming, tech, emulation, and open source news. Let's get started. All right, to kick things off, no, you've guessed it, I'm not camping. No, I'm not at home right now, and yes, I'm on vacation. Mrs. Sujano and I are headed to New York to go on a cruise, and well, I decided to take you along with me because wherever I am, I'm doing the news. To start out, we're talking about the PS5 Pro, and you've probably already seen images of the PS5 Pro surface online. Some people are saying it's not going to have a disk drive. Some people are saying it will have a disk drive. Some people are saying it's going to have a lot more storage than the standard PS5. PS5, and some people are even saying it's going to be faster storage than the PS5. The only thing I know at this point in time is that we're probably going to hear more about it from Sony relatively soon. Considering these things keep popping up online, who knows how long it's going to be, but I don't think it's going to be too long. Next up, we're talking about Banjo-Kazooie, and I've got some good news for you here if you're following along with the decompilation project. The Banjo-Kazooie decompilation project has hit 100% complete. That's right, Banjo-Kazooie has been decompiled. That means a PC port might be on the way. A whole bunch of other stuff might be on the way. This is absolutely huge for the project. Next up here, we're talking about Guilty Gear Strive for the Nintendo Switch. Now, earlier on, it was kind of leaked that it was heading to the Switch. I mean, someone grabbed a snapshot of a banner with the Switch logo on Guilty Gear Strive. And it turns out that, yes, it is heading to the Switch. It has been confirmed. This is really great news for the Switch. The Switch has been getting a lot of great fighting games recently. Unfortunately, still no Street Fighter VI still no Tekken, but at the same time, not a bad game to be hitting the handheld or console or console handheld, whatever you want to call it. Next up is a big loss for game preservation. It turns out that Kingdom Hearts Unchained X and Dark Road have been delisted from both the App Store and the Google Play Store. There was no announcement that this was coming. There's been no official announcement just yet. Some people are hopeful that Missing Link is going to be put up in its place, but at the same time here, if you try to download either of them, they are gone. The links are broken on the website as well. I wish they didn't do stuff like this. Next up here we're talking about Concord. Now we talked about Concord a while back and a lot of people were right about this game right from the start. It was predicted by a lot of people that this game was going to be dead on arrival and turned out that's exactly what happened. The last time we talked about it I think there were about 400 and some odd people playing the game at the exact same time and checking on the game right now and there's a whopping 130 people playing the game at the exact same time. And that's not very good at all, especially for a game of this caliber. If you've had a chance to play Concord, let me know your thoughts about it in the comments below. Do you think the low player count is justified? Do you think a lot of people are missing out? I'm very curious to see. I haven't played the game yet. And it seems like I may not actually play the game given the fact that nobody else is. Next up, we're talking about some gameplay videos. And first up on the docket is Shad PS4 and Bloodborne. And Brutal Sam has just posted a brand new video showcasing even more Bloodborne. Born gameplay. I know a lot of people have been asking about it. And Brutal Sam here seems to be delivering. I'll drop a link to that video in the description below. And the second thing on the docket is Nintendo Switch emulation on Android with Strato. Now we showcased some Strato gameplay the other day and even more people want to see more gameplay. Well Easy on the Ice should have you covered. But in the event that that's not quenching your thirst, Whale of Gluttony has even more footage. I'll drop a link to his YouTube channel in the description below and I do recommend checking it out. And last up here, we're talking about EmuDeck, and it turns out the makers of EmuDeck are making something a little bit different here. Instead of something software-based, they're making something hardware-based. Now they're calling this one an EmuDeck machine, and it's powered by an AMD Ryzen 8600G. It's got 16 gigs of RAM, and there are a few different versions available. Now the big thing about this is that they haven't built a working concept yet, and that part is a little bit risky. So they say the project team has not yet produced produced a working demo for their concept. Their ability to successfully produce a prototype may be affected by product development or financial challenges. Now in terms of pricing for one of these things, they're sitting at about 695 US dollars. They're about 25% funded so far, and I guess they're looking for about 100 units overall, because it seems they've sold 25 of them. Now although this is a risky project, at the same time it does look pretty cool, and well, EmuDeck is also pretty awesome. Let me know your thoughts about this one in the comments below, and whether or not you're going to back it, or maybe not. 
But anyways, that is all I've got for you in this one. Straight to the point, all stuff and no fluff. I am absolutely exhausted. I was up since 4 a.m. It's, well, it's well into the evening. I had an 11 hour drive to get here. It's been a real long day. So thanks for watching this video and stay tuned to tomorrow when I talk about even more stuff and maybe bring around New York even more. We talked about a bunch today. Let me know your thoughts about anything we talked about in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button. Check out my other videos. Don't tempt fate. Save your state.